Greetings Earthlings, Earth Dwellers, lovely people. Um, I've done a couple of these vlog things with me playing live and uh, I'm one of these people who does loads of gigs and stuff and I even teach some bits on this. This lovely bass, this lovely thing, this loveliness, this beautiful thing was made by Mr John Shuker. Um I'm going to knock up a few playthroughs, he has requested me to do such a thing. Uh, playing a variety of different bands but anyway, on with the plan of attack. <clears throat> um, people are always asking me a good warm-up exercise. And when I say 10 star jumps, they're generally not very impressed. Um, so I had lessons off a local chap oh, a long, long time ago. And he showed me this exercise that takes you through all 12 keys. Um, and it's like the cycle of fifths backwards, so that would be the cycle of fourths. What you basically do is you start off on C and you go up, ascending, and then down on on F, then up on B flat, then down on E flat, and up on A flat, then down on D flat, up on G flat, down on B, up on E, a bit of scuffer there. Now, what's cool about that is when you start off here, it's giving your hand a little bit of a stretch. When you move back to the next bit, you're not getting as much a stretch so it lets you warm up. I do a couple of things with this when I'm gigging. Um, if I'm playing, uh, I've got a show and it's particularly cold like now, my hands are freezing, heat has gone off, I haven't warmed my hands up because I'm an idiot. Um, I generally start off on and the deal being trying to get each note the same length, I know we're playing quarter notes but we want to get them the same length, make sure they've all got the same timbre, um, make sure that they're all the same dynamic level. Um, once we've got that we can double the speed. But I'm only going to go up C, let's play through that will do with that now what's really cool with it is if I decide to do a modal thing with it now, so if I take like a Dorian and I play the Dorian mode all the way around there, when I get to D Dorian, I'll be playing D Dorian here. So in the key of C, C there. So when I get to play G Mixolydian, all the positions all kind of link together. Um, so what you can do is just play through the modes, start off with your Ionian or your major scale, and then do the whole exercise the next time through with Dorian. And so forth and rattle right through till you've got all them lovely bits done. Um, Nice and slow, 80 BPM, start off with half notes, up to quarter notes. If you get to um, eighth notes, you're doing really well. Have an itchy foot, itchy foot. Um, I've put a link to a PDF down there. That's weird, because I've never done that before. It's kind of odd. So, that's good night for him, and good night from me. I'll do another one of these soon. If there's out else you want to know, I've always got this thing where people are on about understanding where the cycle of fifths and stuff comes from. Um, I don't mind doing one of them for you either. Thank you and good night. So...
I can see on the PDF, the PDF, you have to work out, it explains that you'll go up ascending on certain fret and you'll go descending uh, and it'll help you find where the notes are. Thank you and good night. Thank you.